हेलो फ्रेंड्स हियर डॉक्टर बी सी एंड टूडे इन दिस वीडियो एपिसोड आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू द अनबॉक्सिंग एंड क्विक रिव्यू ऑफ ए बाको एट फाइव एट डी एस एम डी हॉट ईयर रीवर्क स्टेशन दिस इज अको एट फाइव एट डी एस एम डी हॉट ईयर रीवर्क स्टेशन नाउ यू कैन सी डेट इट doesn't come in our retail packaging it is a packaging for shipping you can see the label packaging for shipping it is not a retail packaging uh, now you can see that it is a bako 858d smd rework station you can see the serial number of the product here and the similar thing you can find on this side 858d smd rework station uh, now nothing more on the box because it is not a retail package that's why you cannot find anything on the box now let's open that uh the first thing you can get inside the box is the man user manual it is very big thing and uh, now let's open all of the thing and that is the nozzles that is the handle holder and that is the main unit and that is the handle now let's keep the box aside uh now let's take out the handle uh, now let's take out the unit uh that is the thing that you can get inside the package it is a bako unit uh you will see that it comes with a three nozzles now let's take out that nozzles yeah small medium and large medium small and the large one i will prefer to use this medium one now let's put all of the thing back that is the main unit now uh before seeing that main unit i will show you the user manual you can see that this user manual comes in a chinese and the Eng english language Uh, i think english in the last and chinese in the first uh you can see that that is the features uh the product adopt closed loop of transducer mcu intelligence drive digital led display high power the temperature turn up it very fast temperature stabilization and is impressive to the ear use the brushless fine and the long life and low noise it is good for light free work too uh that is the first feature i think that is not written properly and you can see that it has a three model bk850b bk858a and bk858d it is of 700 watt it contain a busless fine that the maximum amount of wind that it can flow is 120 liters per minute that is maximum and the temperature range is from 100 to 450 degree celsius it is has a lcd digital display that has a accuracy of 1 degree the handle length is around 120 cm and 120 cm yeah 1.2 meter yeah it is not a cm it is millimeter 12 cm is the exact one and the size i doesn't rely on the data because all thing may be wrong the weight is around 1.55 kg and the noise is less than 45 db and that is the specification of this uh, baku 858d now let's keep that manual aside now next thing you can find inside the box is the i think i don't know about that thing that maybe a warranty card keep that aside and that is the quality test qc uh, it is not signed i think it doesn't pass the quality inspection from the baku now let's keep this aside now that is the main smd rework station now i will change the camera angle you can see that now it is quite visible to see the whole unit in a one frame uh, this is the handle of this unit it is of around 12 cm and very long handle and the fan is inside that handle and you can see that it is quite quite good or very uh, premium type of device now you can see on the front of this a baku 850 you will find that there is a power on and off switch that is switch to increase or decrease the temperature increasing or decreasing and that is the knob to uh, adjust the air flow and on the back you will find that it has a fuse 
दैट इज अ फ्यूज कंटेनर एंड द मेन टू फिफ्टी वोल्ट केबल दैट इज द एंड ऑन दिस साइड इफ यू सी दैट देर आर टू स्क्रूज टू अटैच दिस हैंडल एंड ऑन दैट हैंडल यू विल फाइंड दैट देर इज अ मैगनेट यू कैन सी दैट देर इज अ मैगनेट हेयर इट विल ट्रिगर द होल सेंसर दैट इज आवर सेंसर इन साइड दिस हैंडल विच विल टेल द यूनिट दैट दिस हैंडल और दिस ब्लोअर इज ऑन द स्टैंड एंड इट विल टर्न ऑफ द हीटर दैट इज द मेन हैंडल ऑफ दिस बाको एट फाइव एट डी नाउ लेट्स ट्राई टू अटैच दिस हैंडल टू द मेन यूनिट यू कैन आइदर अटैच द हैंडल ऑन दिस साइड और ऑन द दिस साइड डिपेंडिंग अपॉन योर प्रेफरेंस आई विल प्रेफर टू अटैच द हैंडल ऑन दिस साइड now it is tightened up uh, now it is ready to use now let's try to turn on this unit for that i have to connect this cable to the main now try to turn on uh, now you can see that uh, when i put that handle you can see that the temperature is falling down and now it is below 100 you can see that the display contain various function the sleep the shutdown and the operation here is the knob to adjust the air flow now you can see that the temperature is like increasing and how fast it increases up to 318 uh, now let's see the maximum temperature you can see that this will go up to i think 450 degree celsius the maximum is 450 and that is the maximum air flow now let's see the minimum one i think the minimum is 100 degree celsius you can see a calibration knob here to calibrate the this digital temperature display for that you have to use a thermocouple having a temperature probe and then attach that probe to the front or the front side of the handle uh, where the hot air is coming and then adjust or calibrate the display or temperature accordingly uh, the minimum is you can see that it is 100 now you can see that it is falling down to the 100 now it is 100 now it is locked to the 100 now let's put that to a genuine temperature for desoldering i will prefer around 350 or 360 that is a sufficient temperature to desolder a surface mount component that is smd component you can see that it is quite tricky to adjust the temperature now it is yeah 360 is sufficient now let's put the handle on the holder you can see that the temperature is now falling down and once it reaches 100 this will show the two dash symbol that's mean yeah you can see that uh yeah now it is below 100 and once it is below then either 70 or the 50 uh the unit will go in a sleep mode yeah you can see that now it is below i think 70 or 50 that's why it now is in a sleep mode once you uh, take off the handle it will now turn on the heater and also the unit so it is a automatically controlled unit from the baku the model number is 858d now let's see some soldering with the help of this baku unit that is my usb 3.0 card and i want to desolder this smd component now for desoldering this smd component i will apply some flux and try to lift that now you can see that it is okay the temperature is set it to around 360 degree celsius and that is sufficient to desolder this component from the pcb just apply the heat from all side of this ic make sure that you have to apply heat evenly on the ic and the pcb because both of this component have to heat it up to 270 degree celsius then you can easily lift off this ic from the main board uh, now let's see that whether the temperature rises to that one no you can see that it is still 
attached to the PCB. Yeah, you can see that now it is lifted up. So you can see that it is easy to deshoulder the SMD component with the help of this Baku 858D. Now let's try to lift one this smallest component that this one at the same temperature. Just use a tweezer to hold that component and just apply the heat. Yeah, now it is deshouldered. Now to shoulder it back, just place the component and yeah, now it is back. So you can see that it is very easy to deshoulder the SMD component with the help of this Baku 858D. Now let's try to shoulder this IC back. Uh, to shoulder this IC back, I have to first clean this old shoulder from this IC and from the board then reball this IC and once I reball this IC then I can install that IC back. Uh, I'm not going to that process in detail but uh, just for demonstration this Baku I will uh, supposing that all thing is okay and then apply flux not this time not too much flux and then align the IC uh, align accordingly yeah I think that is okay now once we are happy with the alignment then just decrease the air flow and once it is okay then apply the heat same temperature 360 degrees Celsius but with low air flow apply heat evenly from the all side uh, I don't reball this IC and that's why it is not so easy to shoulder it back and once you will find self movement of the IC no it is not Yeah, you can see that and the self movement of the IC will tell you all the balls are melted and now due to the surface tension the IC is now placed back that is the point when you have to stop your hot air now it is installed sometimes some mechanics also use this flux and then apply the heat again like that and again check the lateral movement of the IC to see whether it is placed properly yeah now it is okay so the shouldering is now completed so you can see that it is very easy to shoulder and deshoulder the SMD component with the help of this Baku 858D SMD hot rework station now this completed the unboxing and quick review of baku 858d smd hot rework station if you like this video give a thumbs up share and subscribe the subscription link is shown on your screen and for more videos on upcoming gadgets technology and many more keep watching bcd tech thank you and have a nice day bye bye